Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, January 21st, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Got yelled at yesterday by the Let's Go Festival people. I got a tip on one of their headliners for Friday night, and I sort of stole their thunder, I guess. And they were pretty miffed that I put it out there on Facebook and Twitter. So we were nice, and we did pull it back. If you missed it, you're just going to have to wait until they release it. Or if you're really interested, I can be bribed. Okay, enough of that. We have some news to share, so let's get into it, shall we? The hits keep coming. Today's episode of Bad Cops is brought to you by the Annapolis Police Department. On January 15th, the Anne Arundel County Police were called to an address in Odenton for a domestic assault. Apparently, Officer Dwight Forsyth got into an argument with his fiancée and attempted to strangle her. Police charged him with first and second degree assault as well as reckless endangerment. Now, Forsyth was only hired in November of 2021 from Baltimore City Police Department. According to the APD, he is no longer employed with the department as he was on probation. Somewhat disturbing and seemingly becoming routine, the Anne Arundel County Police did not report this incident in their daily reports, and when we asked for the details, they issued a statement saying, quote, We're not releasing specifics on the incident, but can say that the incident was domestic-related and are confirming the arrest of Forsyth, unquote. Luminous Health, the parent of Anne Arundel Medical Center, has their own problem on their hands. Apparently, they became aware of a data breach in their email system back in September of 21 and just now are notifying people that may be affected. Apparently, someone breached their email system and they believe that patient records, including names, addresses, dates of birth, social security numbers, medical records, and medical record numbers may have been compromised. They believe that access was made through a phishing attempt they didn't address why medical records with personal information were being sent by employees via email and not some secure environment. Anyhow, they are in the process of sending out letters to affected people, guessing they don't trust their own email system any longer, and they have set up a hotline to call if you have any questions. That number is 855-675-3128. They say that bad news comes in threes. Well... Anne Arundel County schools have partially closed six schools due to COVID outbreaks and sent them back to virtual learning. This week, it was Mayo Elementary, which will reopen on Monday. Now closed for a few days, Windsor Farms Elementary, Glendale Elementary, Sunset Elementary, Ferndale Elementary, and Monarch Academy in Glen Burnie. And many people were really squawking about the cancellation of school yesterday. It really was a tough call, and the weather forecasters, they really did miss it. But after a year and a half of virtual learning, why can't they just throw the switch and eliminate snow days entirely? And speaking of those snow days, we are out of them for the school year. Yesterday's snow day now pushed the last day of school to Friday, June 24th. And he bets if we'll be in school in July. The campaign finance reports are in and we're studying them, but right now it seems that County Executive Pittman is doing very well, having raised $408,000. He has $388,000 on hand to spend. On the Republican side, Jessica Hare raised $817,000 and has $619,000 on hand to spend, but she also loaned herself half a million dollars, so that was really not money that was raised per se. Now, Herb McMillan came in with $241,000 raised and, according to his report, has $59,000 on hand. But McMillan sent out a statement late last night saying that the Board of Elections program was wrong and he had over $200,000 on hand. So there may be a correction coming there. Statewide, Kelly Schultz is killing it on the Republican side and Wes Moore is leading the Dems. And as we start to wrap it up, in what I thought was a surprise, Watermark has been sold. Yes, that Watermark. The Harbor Queen, the walking tours, all of it. Established by Ed Hartman 50 years ago and having been owned by his daughter, Debbie Goslin for the past 20 years, the company has been sold to their GM, Jake Iverson, and his wife, Laura. 
For her part, Goslin is looking forward to retirement and travel and feels incredibly confident in leaving the company in Jake's hands. And Jake is taking the, if it ain't broke, don't fix it road, and noted that the biggest asset in the company is the team of employees. So congrats to Debbie on the retirement and congrats to Laura and Jake on the new company. And finally, at noon today, we're going to be choosing a winner for the $250 shopping spree at the Boutique Blowout by Scout and Molly, Stardust Deluxe, and Mid-Atlantic Costuming this weekend. The blowout is this weekend up in Glen Burnie, and the spree is only able to be used this weekend at the event. So if you have not put in a random number yet, you want to head to our All Annapolis Facebook page and slide in a guess right there. The post is pinned to the top. We're going to be picking a number at noon today. And that's it for the news, but here is some podcast news for you. We've been busy lining up some local business spotlights. Encore Creativity for Older Adults is on Saturday. Refill Goodness will be up next week. And actually, I forget who it was the week after that. But please keep the suggestions coming. They are free to the business owners and a lot of fun for me. My email address is info at ionanapolis.net. Or you can send me a DM on Twitter at ionanapolis. Either of those is probably the best way to get a hold of me. All right, now I am done. And as always, thank you for listening. And if you are somewhere where you can leave a rating or a review, please do that. And make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues all know to give us a follow. It really does help us grow. A quick thank you to our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services, the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster Company, and Rehab to Perform. It is Friday, so I'm going to take this time just to say have a great weekend, be nice to others, do something fun, and keep shopping local. Other than that, we'll see you on Monday. Now hang tight. George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather report. All of that in just a bit. Get ready for the biggest boutique blowout you've ever seen. So big that Scout Molly's Annapolis, Stardust Deluxe, and Mid-Atlantic Costume rented a huge warehouse for this event. Be there Saturday and Sunday, the 22nd and 23rd at Mid-Atlantic Costume in the Cromwell Business Park, Airport Road, Glen Burnie. You know the quality of fashion and accessories they carry, so don't miss this winter boutique blowout event from Scout and Molly's, Stardust Deluxe, and Mid-Atlantic Costume. For more info, visit their Facebook pages today. Are you an active adult or competitive athlete dealing with an injury keeping you from being at your best? Then Rehab to Perform is here to get you back to your full potential. R2P is a unique fitness-focused physical therapy company with four locations in Maryland. More like a training room and a personal training studio than a medical facility. R2P offers physical therapy for lower back pain, overuse injuries, post-surgery, muscle pulls, chronic pain, and more. R2P also offers rehabilitation for concussions and mild traumatic brain injuries. To learn more, visit RehabToPerform.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMD VA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, January 21st. Yesterday was a swing and miss on AM snow as an Arctic cold front moved through from the west, but the cold part delivered overnight and this morning, and the cold is here to stay for a while. Look for somewhat breezy highs today, only in the mid to upper 20s after temps this morning in the teens, with a chance of some light snow very late tonight and tomorrow morning for areas well south and southeast of Annapolis for places like far southern Maryland, the lower Maryland eastern shore, and coastal Maryland in Ocean City and points south to southeastern Virginia and eastern North Carolina. With cold highs only in the 30s for our area expected daily Saturday through much of next week with AM lows each day in the teens and 20s. So prepare to have to layer up for pretty much the remainder of January as we watch and wait for any potential additional winter storms from this point forward. Until then, stay warm and get out and about as much as possible despite the cold as we start to move through the final third of January 2022. Okay, that's it for today and this week. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day and weekend out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us daily on Facebook and Twitter, as well as through our website 
at dcmdvaweather.info and definitely download our DCMDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather informed. And if anything at all changes today on potential snow late tonight into tomorrow morning, we'll be sure to update regularly. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer, about $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today at 410-599-1370 so we can help you maximize your home's value. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. With all the talk of energy resilience in the news recently, I'm surprised there's not more talk about solar plus batteries, especially since one-third of all of our new residential solar projects include a battery backup system that provides instant energy security and peace of mind. And with incentives in place for battery backup, this investment is now more affordable than ever. With financing rates as low as 0.99% and plans offering 18 months same as cash, it's now easier than ever to go solar with no money down. Financing creates an easy bill swap scenario where you replace your electric bill with a loan payment, allowing you to build equity in your own personal energy supply. Don't wait for your next power outage to act. Contact us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net to learn more about solar with battery backup. Don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a wasted. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, eyeonannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Eye on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.